Let's learn how to drill holes in EMT conduit for mounting nest boxes. This is Jeff with the Backyard Birds channel. By drilling holes through EMT conduit, it can be used for mounting nest boxes as well as making telescoping poles. These are some of the nest boxes that have attached to EMT conduit. From left to right are nest boxes for eastern bluebirds, great crested flycatchers, northern flicker woodpeckers, and wood ducks. This is a chickadee nest box mounted to a five foot length of half inch conduit. See how you can lower and raise the pole to access the nest box? This is a flicker woodpecker nest box and it is mounted to a five foot length of three quarter inch conduit. By making a telescoping pole, you can easily access the nest box. A carriage bolt is inserted into the holes to hold the telescoping pole in place. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. If you aren't familiar with EMT conduit, let me tell you more about it. EMT stands for electrical metallic tubing, and it's normally used for routing and protecting electrical wiring. It is made of steel, but is galvanized to prevent corrosion. You can find it at home improvement and hardware stores. I usually buy it in 10 foot lengths and cut it to the sizes I need, but some stores will cut it for you. If you cut your own, invest in a conduit cutter for easy and clean cutting. The sizes I use are half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch. The different sizes can be combined to make telescoping poles. To learn how to mount a nest box to a telescoping pole, follow the link at the top of the video. Let's look at the tools we need to drill holes in conduit. Obviously, you need a handheld drill. To drill through metal, you need titanium drill bits. On the top is a 3 16 bit that I use for attaching small boxes to half inch conduit. For telescoping poles and larger boxes, I use the quarter inch bit. You will want a ruler and pencil for marking where you want to drill. The drill vise is necessary for holding the conduit steady while you drill. The most important tool is the drill guide. The back side is V-shaped so it sets on the conduit and guides the drill through the exact center of the conduit at a 90 degree angle. The trigger clamp is used to keep the drill guide from moving on the conduit while drilling. After drilling the hole, Use a file to remove sharp burrs from around each side of the hole. When you are done drilling, use a shop magnet to clean up the shards of metal produced from drilling the hole. You can find links to all of the tools in the video description. Before we drill, mark the conduit where the hole should be drilled. Place the conduit into the vise with a section to be drilled sticking out and tighten the vise. Place the drill guide on the conduit where you plan to drill. In this case, we are drilling one inch from the end of the conduit. Clamp the guide to the conduit to hold it in place. Place the vise and conduit on a block of wood on the ground. Put your foot on the vise to hold it in place. With the proper bit in the drill, insert the bit into the hole of the drill guide and begin drilling. Remember to drill at a low speed when drilling through metal. Once you have drilled through the conduit, remove the clamp and drill guide. Remove any metal burrs around the hole by filing them off of each side. Tip the conduit downward and tap out any metal shards that are inside. To finish, place a plastic bag over the magnet and pick up the metal shards. The bag along with the shards can be removed from the magnet and thrown away. Let me share some lessons I've learned from using conduit for mounting nest boxes. I've learned that it is nearly impossible to drill a hole through the center of a piece of conduit without using a drill guide. I used to use a drill press and it worked fairly well, but it was still more difficult to get perfectly centered holes. The metal shards produced from drilling through conduit are dangerous. Be safe and use a magnet with a bag to clean them up. Bolting a nest box to conduit makes for a sturdy mount and the box won't rotate on the pole. Creating a telescoping pole makes it easy to mount a nest box at 10 feet and safe to monitor it. I hope you found the information in this video useful and will put it to use to help our cavity nesting birds. Hi, I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds channel. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red subscribe button below the video. To be notified of new videos, 
be sure to click the bell widget next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.